now we have a little uh never seen this before this is the uh the new uh, truck brake bracket so so we were getting done with the breakfast yesterday i told my wife i said i'm uh i was half expecting the laser cutter to call and say that uh the stuff was ready and not even five seconds later the phone rang and that was the laser cutter oh is that pretty or what Now all of these holes, this is supposed to be a three-quarter inch hole, these are supposed to be enough for a, a three-eighths. What I did was uh, I had them all, I downsized them all uh, for the laser cutter. So that way uh, they act as pilot holes. So all I should have to do is just get on the drill press and drill through them. Um, I shouldn't have to worry too much about, uh, you know, setting up in the mill and going to each uh, section, or, you know, going to each one and drilling it, so... Let's see here. So I can basically see my line all the way around. So it's like the laser cutter cut right on that line. Um, and this stuff all looks perfect. And I can see the line in here too. So nice. All right. Well, they should all be identical. Oh, almost as heavy as the... Uh, other ones. And I think there, there's a few extra in here too. Uh, I'll have to count them to find out, but there, there should have been 80 and there's, you know, like 85 or 86 or something like that. So, uh, oh, you know, as long as there's uh, 84, <laughs> that's sweet. Okay, so give you a look at these. Now that, that's from the plunge. That's they, they were probably trying to keep them really close together, you know, because this is the top side, you know, so it looks beautiful here, but then it kind of flares out a little bit there, and they all seem to have that same, uh, some worse than others. Doesn't really uh, have any effect on anything, except for the cosmetics of it, so hair annoying for that reason. Especially when they look, you know, when they get a little bit bigger. But, you know, here comes the, the reality, too, is that uh, uh, once they're all mounted up and everything like that, you're never going to see this again. So, and same thing here. I did this as a pilot. This should be a three-quarter inch hole, and this should be 10.3 uh, millimeters, something like that. So now I can start uh, going through the bit of... Uh, Drilling all these holes make about 10 pounds worth of chips. Work, 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 work. Yeah, basically I'll end up, you know, taking that and I'll, I'll hit it on the belt grinder to knock it down smooth, you know, but I can't really do anything to fill in that divot. It's not going to take much time, but the, you know, the all the little minute here, minute there, they do add up, especially with, uh, you know, when you got to do like 90 of these things yeah so the extra heat right there from the ex exit side I don't know if you can uh, see that gap in there on that side put it on this side and it rocks which is why when I uh, put them together I end up uh, machining the tabs so they're flat but uh, what I'm gonna have to do is bolt this down to the spindle because since they were all cut one way there's no left right they're all this way you just flip them over that means that this one's folded away a little bit and this one's folded up a little bit uh so it'll change it'll change it slightly uh but i've got to bolt it down and see how flat it is once it's bolted down there's only three bolts holding it and the bend is over here so we're still going to see uh a bit of the bend but if you know the tabs are if the tabs are on this side for for this bracket and I machine these flat at the right depth uh that'll be fine with because then it'll match up same as here so I just got to figure that out or uh, pay attention to that and take care of it so so I checked that piece let's uh Oh yeah, 
Right on the money. I think I'll pull out a couple drill bits and we'll see how much, uh, how easy it is going to be to drill through there. Well, I got three eighths set up in there. Got this set at pretty low RPM. Not quite sure what it's at, but it's, it's down there a bit. Should uh, should go right through here. Um, so this is the top side because that is going to be the most accurate place. You know, if there's any wander or blowout or anything like that, I don't have to worry about the bit trying to wander around. Not only that, you can see the darker ring means this is a bigger heat affected area. Uh, so that's just going to make it even that much harder on the drill bit. So I'll get on this side, very little heat affected area. It'll get it in there and biting and that stuff and should run right through the rest of it without any problem. Three quarter hole. Or um, three, uh, yeah, three quarter inch hole. Now, this one here, I'm not necessarily going to want to <laughs> try to hold because if it bites, it will rip it right out of my hand. Um, so, I'm looking to find something that'll just help me with the leverage a bit. And if I get over here far enough, I get the support off that shelf, so then I know this thing is sitting flat. Uh, but I don't want to get so... I'm, I'm basically looking to just drill down into the, the gap there. And I don't have to clamp it down, but, you know, it came up pretty close, so I might as well. Now, I shouldn't have to do this kind of lineup on every one. If I have to, I'll set up a jig in here or something that'll hold this that I can just drop it down in and have a couple of anchor points. slow that down a little bit more when I'm looking to do them all I'll uh, pay a little more attention to uh, what it's going to take for to make it faster you know production wise we'll put a little oil on it this time if I can if I could drill them dry that would be great because then I don't have to friggin clean up the oil and that shit off it so uh, for welding so but we'll try it with the little oil on there I was thinking at one point, you know, heck, I'll punch a three-quarter or a three-quarter inch uh, end mill through them, but then I got to line them up accurately. The drill will self-center on the hole that's cut. So now these little buggers here, I don't have a three-quarter inch hole in here, and I think these will be. Too wide. Ooh, real close. Okay, let's see how this works. What it looks like is well, that's about all the tighter I can get it. Looks like I can just set it down in there and be pretty close. Question is, is you know when it lifts back up, you know, am I going to be able to hold that down tight enough? So, we'll get something in there to, and I can push that down with a little bit without having to actually get my finger down that close.
Oh man, I'm gonna have so many chips left over. <laughs> you know, which, you know, my level and size and stuff like that I'm doing is nothing compared to uh, chips uh, A bomb and Lipton are making and stuff like that. Well, you know, that's not really gonna work because it doesn't support both sides of the, the hole where I'm drilling, so. So, we'll do this. be a first uh, for mounting it up here. I have not set it on here yet. Two small ones, big one. All right, there's that one. There's the nut. What I'm looking for here is in its static state. Not sure if I get the angle right here or not, but there's a there's a gap there. I think uh, rather than just eyeball it, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of feeler gauges in there. That's pretty darn close. Uh, so let's see here. That's 17. And I'm, I'm just trying to get a reference so that when I bolt this down, I can see whether or not that changes when I tighten it down. see if it flattened out at all. Oh, yeah, that did flatten out. Wow, a little in that. Let's see, that is, that's 8,000. So, it's somewhere between 8 and 10,000. Okay, let's turn it over and see what it looks like uh, going the other way. Oh, I'll have to use a different spindle to bolt it down. Oh, so we'll bolt it down to this one. Ugh. It does flatten it out some. When it mounts on there like this, basically, okay, when it curves down in a way, that'll tend to make this distance a little longer. Uh, so I want to make sure that I don't make the tabs so long, you know, that they're too long at that point. Uh, so if I err a little bit on the thin side, so like I had these spec at uh, 0.550, okay, if... Uh, if I put them at, you know, 525, then what that does is that gives me 25 thou more to machine off this edge right here. Okay. So I'm not quite sure I want to go with that much, but, uh, you know, I could definitely drop it. Uh, you know, the, 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 the 10 thou that I measured on the other one. Um, you know, assuming they're all warped the same, it'd be 10 thou the other way too, roughly. Um, well, not exactly, because this won't flatten out going this direction quite the same as it flattens out going the other direction. But uh, um, so I could say 15 thou. So I could make them 535, and since I'm going to make them in house, I can uh, adjust it. So I'll make a couple and put a bracket together and see how it looks. <laughs> 